I just found a brand new AI agent that you can get to work for you 24 seven for free. It's open source and it's basically an AI employee that can act on your behalf. It's got over 16,000 stars on GitHub and is trusted by more than 70,000 users. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this tool is, how you could use it, and I'm gonna share with you five crazy use cases you should begin doing with this today to increase your productivity. Now that tool that I'm talking about is gonna be Suna.so. This is exactly what it looks like and as you can see, you literally just tell it exactly what you want it to do and it goes off and it actually does that. Now I do want to show off a ton of different settings that this has right here. First and foremost, if you see these quick starts down here, you can literally click on these and then it comes through and actually shows you what an ideal prompt looks like here. In addition to that, if you come over to Suna.so, basically just come out of the dashboard, you'll be able to scroll down over here and see a bunch of different things that this can actually do if you're ever looking for inspiration in terms of how to actually use this tool and different things that I could do. Now, in addition to that, you're gonna notice a few other things. If we click on this paperclip right here, you will be able to upload videos, you'll be able to upload photos, you'll be able to upload PDFs, you'll be able to upload spreadsheets. Pretty much, you could upload anything that you want into here. In addition to that, if we click on this model right here, you'll be able to see all the different models that this actually offers. It recommends that you use Claude Sonnet 4 because it's gonna be a perfect mix between being smart enough and being quick enough. But in addition to that, it says that it wouldn't recommend using Using DeepSeek, Gemini Flash 2.5, or Quen 3 for complex tasks, so it gives you a warning here. Now, if you come over here, you could click on this microphone button and you could actually talk to it. If you have any past chats, you'll be able to see them over here, or you could come over here open that past chat, you could delete that past chat, or you could share that chat if you wanted to. And if we come over here, you'll be able to see that you have your different accounts right here. You have billing, you have theme. If you wanna change this to make a dark mode, you would actually be able to do this under theme right here. Personally, I like keeping things light, so we're gonna keep it with this. Now, in order to actually show this off a little bit, let's give it a task. For example, I'm going to ask this to provide a list of the top venture capital firms in the United States prioritized by assets under management, and then for each firm, I want it to include the name, estimated AUM, investment focus, or stage website URL, and a publicly available contact email if possible. And I wanted to present those results in a clear and structured format suitable for direct outreach and strategic research. Now we could give this test to this right here, and then you're gonna see exactly what it looks like when Suna actually goes through and begins to do things like that. On the left-hand side, you're gonna be able to see it actually taking actions. And on the right-hand side, you're gonna be able to see soon as computer and exactly what is actually going on here. So we could see exactly what this is going to go through and this is actually going to do with this project right here. And then on the left hand side, again, we could watch it actually go through and begin to do all of this. Now, if we wanted to chat with this and pause this at any moment, we would just be able to pause it right here and be able to chat with it. If we wanted to ask it follow-up questions, we would be able to do that. But as we could see very quickly, this is successfully going through, going through a bunch of different images, going through 16 different search results, and it's actually going through all of this. And when things are successful, it'll tell you up here in the top right-hand corner that search has been completed successfully or it'll tell you the next thing that it's actually doing and you could watch this go through step by step and actually complete these things and again you could get started with this for free and it's open source you could run it in the cloud or you could run it locally on your computer if you wanted to now again a few other settings right here one you could toggle computer preview right here which is exactly what we're seeing if that wasn't showing up if you wanted to share this chat you can come over here and actually create a shareable link and if you wanted to view all the different files that were created or accessed during this test for example the to-do list right here you could access all of these right here and very easily upload more things to it or download everything from it. And what's pretty crazy about this is you could actually watch this come through and do all these things and you could see that it's updating its to-do list as it's going through and doing this. And again, you could have this going on in this tab and in another tab, you could open up and start doing whatever else you want and this will all be running in the background. Okay, so now that this is actually done, this is what we have. We have right here, Tiger Global Management. We could see that we could scroll down and we'll be able to access all of these different VC firms. In addition to that, they also put this very simply in a CSV file. So I have both a text version and a CSV version. And again, if we come up in here, 
and update this, we will see that this now put in all these different files that we can now get it to access in future chats or we could take action on these on our behalf. Now, before I show you the five crazy things you need to start using this tool for today, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started today with Suna for free. Okay, now the first thing that I would get this to do is if we come over here, I would ask it to do something like this. Analyze the AI agents industry to support the planning of my next company. So this can go through, this can create a comprehensive market overview for whatever industry you want. You could use this for work, you could use this for your personal life, you could use this to plan out your next business or whatever the case is. So I'm gonna go through, actually ask it to do this and I ask it to put all of its findings in a well-structured PDF report. So as we can see, this is going through and this is actually beginning to do this. Now, while that is going ahead and doing that, I am going to open up another window over here. I'm gonna come into dashboard and we'll be able to see that this is going on right here. And while that is simultaneously going on, I'm gonna click on this, which says develop a comprehensive risk assessment framework for business operations, including risk identification, probability analysis, impact evaluation, and mitigation strategies. I'm even going to add in here, this is for an auto manufacturer. So it's going to make it super specific to this exact use case. Now, I also clicked to get this going because I wanted to see whether or not I can have two things running simultaneously. So as we could see in this window, I have this running right here. And if we come over here, we could see that I also have this running right here. So again, I want you to think about this. I don't know about you, but I personally wake up every single morning with a very long to-do list. What would make my life a hundred times easier is if I opened up a few different windows of this and had it operating on all these different windows across all these different things. And this would allow me to get a lot of my time back and to actually get rid of my to-do list way earlier and be able to check everything off. So again, we could see that we have this going on over here. We have this going on right here. And why don't we try a third window here? So we're gonna click on new agent right here. This is going to open up another new agent. And then I'm gonna ask it to come up with a content marketing plan. So it says develop a six month content marketing strategy, including blog posts, social media, email campaigns, SEO optimizations, include a content calendar and performance metrics. I'm gonna have this be a six day content marketing strategy. And then I'm gonna say, this is for a baseball, clothing brand. Now, as we could see, we have several different things actually running here. If we come into expand sidebar, we have this AI analysis running over here and we could see that it's still running. We also have this risk assessment framework running and we could see that it's actually built out the plan and this is running over here. And now we also have this content marketing strategy running. So we literally have three different things and three different examples running at one time. And then let's see what the results are. Okay, now the first one of these that this is actually done with is this created a risk assessment framework development, and this is incredibly long. We could see it goes through the executive summary, and I can literally scroll here for like 20 or 30 seconds and just keep scrolling down, and this goes through all of these different things and how to assess risk for an auto manufacturer. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom right here very quickly, we will see that this literally goes through eight different things when it comes to implementation guidelines, risk governance and oversight, technology risk mitigation strategies. This literally thought through so much information in like a minute or two. And this is incredibly useful, again, because this could now be used for your team and you can build out a risk assessment framework that otherwise probably would have taken weeks or months to be able to collect all of this and be able to think through of it. Not to mention, it probably would have cost you literally tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousand dollars to create this same exact document. Now, in addition to that, if we click into this right here, we will see that this baseball strategy is almost done. This is going through and this has done a bunch of different things. It went through and actually researched for the brand content marketing strategy. It completed that. It went through and created the six day content calendar. Now it's going through and creating the actual blog posts and things that we'll be able to use. And if we come over here and check on this AI agents analysis, we'll be able to see that this is also done. So we could actually look at this right here or we could click on this PDF if we wanted to. It's then going to bring us in here where we can download it and we'll be able to see exactly what this says. So this literally created a 13 page report that we can now go through 
with a PDF that goes through the exact AI agents industry analysis in order to help us plan out our next business. It gives us all the different key things right here, all the different notable things to actually note of them, like their specialization, or how much funding they have, or key differentiating factors. And if we go through this, again, this is something that would have taken weeks to do, or you would have paid tens of thousands of dollars to do, but now you could get this AI app to do this for you in minutes. Okay, so now that this is done with this content calendar, here's what we've got. If we come up over here, we could see that this actually created the content calendar right here and tells us exactly what posts we should do, what blog posts we should do, what story posts we should do, and a bunch of other stuff here. In addition to that, we have all these different blog posts that this went through and actually created that give us different titles, actually writes out the blog posts, and if we come all the way down to the bottom, we could see that this also gave us related articles and different keywords that we should try to rank for search on. And this is incredible because again, this literally would have taken somebody all day to do, but this just went and did this in a few minutes. Now, for use case number four, I'm going to get this to actually perform an analysis of what my investment portfolio looks like. So I say to this, I am 29 years old, and this is what my portfolio currently looks like. 20% real estate, 30% crypto, 40% tech index funds, 10% cash. Can you perform an investment portfolio analysis on this? Let me know why this could potentially be good or bad. So this is going to go through and get started on this. And this, again, is going to take into consideration what I just gave it here and then actually perform a comprehensive investment portfolio analysis for my current allocation for my situation. And if we look over here, what this is actually going to go and do and create this to-do list, this is literally going to take into consideration like 15 different things, like overall data collection, it performs a risk assessment, and it's going to do several other things in this to-do file, like performance and market analysis, age-appropriate investment strategy, comprehensive analysis, and then it's going to give me a final delivery here. Okay, so now that this is actually done going through and building this out right here, we can see that this is an investment portfolio analysis strategy. It gives me an executive summary. It says it shows an aggressive growth-oriented strategy appropriate for my age, but with significant concentration risks that warrant attention. And then it actually goes through and tells me exactly what those critical mistakes are and how I can go through and actually fix these things. So it gives me implementation priority and things that I could change, it gives me a bottom wire in here, and I might actually take some of this stuff into consideration. Okay, now the next thing and final thing that I asked this to do is to analyze and optimize the entire sales funnel from lead generation to conversion, including lead scoring, nurture sequences, and conversion rate optimization strategies for my specific website. Essentially, I want this to go through, analyze my sales funnel, and break down what things I could change. So if we come all the way down here, we could see that it actually did this, and it gives us exactly what it thinks we could do. So it gives us a quick wins, gives us an expected ROI, then it goes through and gives us a complete strategy package, key results expected, immediate action items, and it goes through and actually gives us different files here. So it gives us different text files of what it actually saw, what it could break down, what critical gaps exist, and exactly how we could go through and actually change those things. And look at all the different files that this actually generated. And again, I want you to take this into consideration. Not only can you use this for your own thing, but you could also use this as lead generation because it was basically free for me to be able to do this. You could do this with a bunch of different businesses you want to connect with and then actually build out these reports and have that be your lead generation because you can lead with that instead of just telling them you could help them with something. You can literally just give all this away to them for free and say, hey, if you want me to do this for you, here's how you can do that. Now, if you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven other free AI tools that you're not gonna wanna miss. I'll see you over there.